We'll begin the video looking at Isaiah as the number two receiver. They're going to run a smash concept with the number one receiver running just a little hitch. You can see the corner drive. Isaiah is going to read the date deep safety, sit this between them. And this is something he needs to work on. I do see this more than once. He leaps for footballs he does not need to leap for, and he body catches more than I would like. You see that right here. Uh, he does not need to go up and get this football. He should extend his arms and catch it. You can see he's pretty high off the ground. As a result, this defensive back is able to push him out of bounds, and they are not able to convert a first down here. We get Isaiah, again, the inside number two receiver uh, gets open in between the second and third level. We see once again him jumping for this football. Doesn't need to. Hits him right around his belt line or just above it. Uh, I'm not positive if he stays on his feet here that he's able to extend his hands, split these defenders, and make more yards after the catch. Also gives this defender a chance as he's in the air and coming down and restarting to catch up and cut that angle off. I believe we'll see more single back three tight end looks down towards the red zone with the idea being that we're going to try to get one-on-one -on -one matchups with Bateman uh, or Mark Andrews uh, or even the, the uh, Charlie Kohler. Uh, that guy one-on-one, -on -one, just throw it up to him. Uh, he is dynamic in that regard. Uh, we get a look at Isaiah Likely in the slot once again. Coastal Carolina's offense is really fun. This is a read uh, of this Apex player. If he hangs back, I believe they're going to hand this ball off. Love the move that Isaiah lays on this defensive back here. Beats him inside. I think the ball just comes out too hot. I think the quarterback probably puts too much on that throw. With that said, this is a very nice move down by the goal line, uh, attacking the outside leverage of the defender, getting him to commit, putting his foot in the ground, and then beating him inside. Remind me to look up who the offensive coordinator is at Coastal Carolina. Really interesting offense to watch. Um, this is a nice block by Likely. It's an interesting pin-pull concept with the play side guard pulling, them sort of baiting with a trap, uh, the D end kind of works inside when he sees the tackle block away and the tight end likely in this case release outside getting himself inside gives the opportunity of the play side guard right there to turn him watch how tenacious likely is stays on this block very very physical really cool concept down by the goal line they're going to use likely as an insert block uh, to double team along with the uh, backside guard the nose guard. Uh, you get a free release by the center to get to the second level and likely cleans up that nose guard. We'll start this one off with Isaiah showing off his hands, a one-handed grab, able to go down and get this thing, uh, and then ultimately score. Again, very, very creative play design. Uh, note that they have a pretty athletic center. They're going to pull him around in protection to the side. They're going to block back uh, with this guard. Uh, and then likely gives the, the impression very well, I think, very distinctly that he's blocking back and we're running this play outside. I think he goes a long way in this play um, taken off. He sells this great. Uh, back doesn't get the uh, pressure here, but the quarterback's able to step up, get this ball out. Great grab. Good sell by likely, good hands, really cool play concept or play design. Just overall great sell by this offense and, and well executed, well drawn up for the most part. Fake to the back. They run a lot of option out of this look. You see the quarterback with his eyes uh, to this receiver or to this side. And it's just very effective in pulling the defense along with the, uh, the upfront blocking. Isaiah lined as a boundary wing. They run this a lot where they leak him out to the flat, looks like split zone, the quarterback's reading. Uh, you'll see the DN surf downhill. Uh, really, again, very, very uh, well drawn up play designs generally as I, as I watch this crack from the uh, number two receiver. And then they leak Isaiah out. 
this is going to sound contrary to a lot of what we've heard. I don't see him as particularly uh, explosive runner in the open field, not at co in college. Uh, of course, I'm not privy to what he's doing in camp and these kinds of things. A lot of his big plays, and I think a lot of uh, his rep is, is as a big play tight end, but a lot of those big plays in college uh, were blown coverage. And it may be, again, we might lay that at the feet of the coordinator, just being clever at setting up defenders and misdirection, these kinds of things. Uh, but I don't see him uh, as explosive as a lot of people do in space. This looks, again, like it could be an insert block, just takes that step inside. We see pre-snap uh, 20, short motioning inside. They're setting this up for Isaiah in the flat. No doubt he'll be effective in this role. You do see him stop his feet after he gets the football. It's the first down call. Turn and read, kind of stops his feet there. Um, and a lot of this video might sound kind of negative. I don't think of him that way at all. I think that it's about time DaCosta brought in a, a replacement for Hayden Hurst. You know, Roman gets uh, lambasted. But don't forget that that three tight end group was completely taken away when they got rid of Hayden Hurst. Not just when they got rid of Hurst, but they didn't replace him. They didn't draft anybody. They finally bring in somebody to fill in and, and play that Hayden Hurst role in that offense. Likely can pick up where Hayden Hurst left off. I do not think that Likely is uh, as explosive as Hayden Hurst is or was. Um, Hurst had the best hands on the team. In that sense, he, he's not going to jump in right away and be Hayden Hurst. Um, but I think from a production standpoint, a year or two, he takes on that role. And I think he can do a lot of the things once coached up that Hurst did.